A walk in the woods. First, we'll show them the blue crow's nest. They're sure to like that. And then we'll treat them to the sweetest raspberries. Uh-huh. They'll be so busy licking their fingers, they won't realize they're already at the firefly glade. And here, the frog chorus, along with Lisa, will give a special concert. I hope you all will enjoy it. Oh, of course we'll enjoy it. Plus, they've seen everything at the school. Ten times over. All that's left to do is double-check the root. Want some? Plumberry with a hint of unpredictability. Mm -hmm. And if you'll continue this way, here we have the nesting place of the blue crow. Looks like the crow has relocated. And took the nest with it. It took the entire tree. Come back! How are we supposed to run an excursion here if the trees won't stand still? These tracks, they're odd. They don't look like roots. Maybe Baba Yaga left them. What? I feel a dainty. It's elegant. I didn't steal the bird. And besides, I'm having the day off. <gasps> look at that. What is it? Someone's stealing the raspberry bush. Where are you taking our raspberries? We haven't shown them to the boys yet. Whoever that was, he clearly knows his magic and the best spots in our forest. If this carries on, there'll be nothing left to show Levon and Vosco. We have to do something. Dorma and Lisa, you take the Firefly Meadow. The three of us will check the pond. The fireflies flew away at the speed of light. But look at these tracks. What kind of feet would leave these way out here? <gasps> Roots like feet, knobby knees, you'll find him midst the trees. I know who it is! <gasps> Who's that? Whoever that is, he can't have the pond. Princesses, let's go! Keep your branches off our pond! <gasps> That's a bog! I'll just squelch back. Well, that was a slick move. Don't worry, how's this for slick? Time for fire. Helen, ready your eyes. Stop! It's Leshy, the forest spirit, the protector of trees and bees. Takes care of the forest, so everyone familiar with forest knows you should make friends with Leshy. Wait here. Ah! He means only good. Don't get too close. What if he eats her? <gasps> Greetings, spirit of the wood. We live as friends as people should. Mm -hmm. A daughter of Woodstream? Lisa Oakengrove. That may be. But why then, Miss Oakengrove, are you and your friends hurting the forest? Actually, we were saving it. From you. Oh, from me? <laughs> we certainly weren't hurting it. We weren't lighting fires or burning leaves. Oh, isn't this yours? Predictberry and Plumberry. We did drop some litter. Candy wrappers are so small. Could they really hurt this big forest? Didn't I hear you were planning an excursion? Well then, come on. We'll take a walk and I'll show you. Here, all living things are connected. <sighs> the blue crow loves the raspberry <laughs> bush. The raspberry bushes need clean water from the stream. Fireflies love the damp spots near the water. And the stream runs out of the pond. And if candy wrappers fall into the pond, even if it's the most delicious candy in the world, this lovely stream could dry up. And then the fireflies will fly away, the raspberry bush will wither, and the crow will have nothing to eat. That's why I moved the crow to another bush. The raspberries to the stream. And the fireflies closer to the water. Now, 
Do you understand? Yes! We won't ever drop litter in the forest. That's good. Now for Lisa's concert. I would be honored to join the audience if Yay, I were. Yes, of course! <laughs> Thank you for the concert. Please tell me when you give another. And while I'm not here, I ask you, please, respect the forest. The genie. Come on, she's getting away. <laughs> ah! This is your last hour. Defend your land. Ooh. <laughs> Beware of evil wizard Rumi. She can destroy us. That is only if she's done running. <laughs> Oh no, that's the immortal's favorite face. Uh, do you think he's going to notice? Oh great, we should not have come in here. We know we aren't allowed to play in his office. Oh dear. He's not going to be happy when he sees this. <sighs> no more Grunwald's Gardens field trip. He won't see it. I'll do a quick repairing spell. Earth, water, fire, air, they have the power to repair. You oh, did yay. it! Oh, well done, Rooney! It was great! <gasps> Who could that be? <gasps> How cute! It's a genie! Do you think he grants wishes? Mm -hmm. I call dibs on genie! Listen, I'll wish first. I wish for... Uh, no, I wish for that... Uh, what kind of wish should I wish for? Hold on, Rooney. There are different kinds of genes. <gasps> oh, no. I think he found something in there and ate it. Oh, that's not good. Who cares? A genie that little could be a big problem. But we don't know if he could become one. Lisa, let's go to the library and find mm -hmm. out how to put that genie back in the vase. You three, find the genie and distract him. And don't tell the immortal. <gasps> he ate my candy! <laughs> my gingerbread as well. Well, yes, he probably hasn't eaten for a thousand years. Here, little genie. <laughs> Have some unpredictable cupcakes. <laughs> and dried plumberries. <laughs> this genie's no big deal. went somewhere else to eat. <gasps> the kitchen! <gasps> oh. <gasps> yes, our little problem's not so little now. Girls, maybe we should tell the immortal everything before it gets worse. And before the consequences get bigger. Here's a consequence for you. There won't be anything left for lunch if the genie finishes off all our soup. Lure him to the greenhouse. It's full of apples. Doma. Can you conjure up a delicious red herring? <laughs> oh, yeah! Those apples will last him a while. Uh-oh. Our little problem's gotten so much larger. <laughs> Want an apple? I've got one here. Here, I'm going to get the immortal. 
Archie, the drawer is still locked. Do you have the key on you? Shame on you, Archie. Nobody but you could have taken the cookies. So why did you do it? They were his favorite. They had coconut flakes, for the record. It wasn't Archie! The genie ate them! We were accidentally playing in your office and then we accidentally released the genie and then we didn't want to tell you because he was so cute! Okay, reverse spell, stop! Uh There's a genie? The genie from my vase? He'll gobble up our entire stockpile! Okay, Lisa, ready! Pudding, buns, cake! Hey, we figured it out! It's a glutton genie! He's really hungry because he's been hibernating for a thousand years, and he won't go back to sleep until he's eaten all his favorite treats! Lisa, have the tablecloth make some hot cocoa! Mr. Immortal, is this really the right time for hot cocoa? It's not mine. It's to give to the genie. That's always been his favorite. He'll take a sip and go right off to sleep. Mug of hot cocoa! Hmm. Now, back to your home. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Shh! Don't wake him up. We're, We're sorry, sorry, Mr. Immortal. The more we hoped the little genie would just keep being small, the bigger that he got. Oh, and it ate our lunch and our dinner. And Archie got in trouble for nothing. The whole harvest disappeared. That's how problems are. The more you try to hide them, the bigger and bigger they get. Like a gluttonous genie. So when a problem happens like this, you should come and tell us right away. Yes, then we can work together to fix whatever it is. Mr. Immortal, I guess you don't want to take us on the field trip to Grunwald's Gardens anymore. After all this... Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> if I didn't, where else would we go to get seeds to replace our harvest? Yay! Wish granted! And we didn't need a genie! <laughs> the Perfect Party uh, Everyone, quick! We don't have much time! Daria, what's the matter? An attack on the school? A pop quiz? No, Rooney, it's nothing like that. We forgot Teacher's Day. We have to organize a party for the teachers. A party? I love parties! Oh. Oh. Not just any party, the best ever. It has to be the perfect party for the perfect teachers. But they'll be back really soon from the Magical Council. We'll never get it ready in time. We will, as long as we all work together on it. The Immortal's favorite color is red, blue for the Professor, and yellow for Marlene. Hmm. The only garland we have is green. Hmm. In that case, you need a spell to change the color. Here you go. Say it three times and the garland will start turning all the colors of the rainbow. Magical! <laughs> oh, Jess, that's excellent. The professor and the immortal play every evening, right? Right, those two like chess a lot. Yes, although this evening can't be like the others. It needs to be special. How about three board defector chess, invented by the wise men of the Kingdom of the Seven Peaks, you know? Of course, that's exactly what we need. Right, we'll need two more chess boards then. Got it. Whatever you're making smells good. They're coconut cookies, see? Perfect. Those are the immortal's favorite kind. Mm hmm And he eats them all the time, so often that he always keeps them in his desk. <laughs> they won't be much of a surprise. What about a coconut cake instead of cookies? He doesn't have one of those in his desk. <laughs> Great idea. How about a cake in the shape of a school? It'll be tricky keeping the towers up. Unpredictable syrup. The stickiest stuff in the world. It'll keep any tower standing. Yes, good idea. Hmm. I just can't decide which hats would look better for Teacher's Day. Let me think. What about... Academic caps! Of course! That's perfect for Teacher's Day. Huh. I hope that the teachers will like them as well. Violins. Hop. Double bass. All the Immortals' favorites. Although, Marlene prefers the trumpet and the flute. Then let's have a whole orchestra. Starting with the flute. Hey, what's this thing? A joy tuning fork? Tap the fork and everyone will be in a delightful mood all day. <gasps> we 
With this joy tuning fork, the party will be perfect, even if something goes wrong today. Is that an earthquake? It's the joy tuning fork. There's something wrong with it. Hey, stop those defectors! The cats! Grab the cats! These must be migratory golems! They won't get away! We have to stop that tuning fork! Easy now! It. The party is ruined. It's my fault. Daria, if it weren't for you, no one would have remembered Teacher's Day. And we still have time to put everything back the way it was. Do we really? Of course. Okay, then. Let's get it done. Wow, is this what I think it is? How beautiful. It looks like the students here have organized a party for us in order to celebrate Teacher's Day. Happy Teacher's Day! Happy Teacher's Day! <laughs> the joy tuning fork. I've wanted to fix that for years, but I lost it. How did it come to be at our wonderful party? I wanted everyone to have fun, but it turns out the joy tuning fork is broken. The chess pieces ran away, the caps flew off. All we have is checkers. Daria. It's the thought that counts, don't you see? We don't mind if we have caps or a certain game. You did this for us, and it's wonderful as is. Slipshod. Marlene! 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 Look, I got some plumberry seeds from Sunsea. Plumberries are the very best ever. I also love plumberry jam. Why don't we plant these? <laughs> Yay! How long will it take? Can they be done by lunch? Or dinner? Rooney, dear. <laughs> I should sleep here so that I don't miss it. It takes several days for plumberry trees to grow. And longer for berries to appear. Well, can't we do something to uh, make them grow faster? Oh. There is a growing elixir we could add, but it takes a while to brew. And I still need to check your herbariums. Oh, I can make the elixir. Pretty please? With the cherry on top? Of course. But follow the recipe exactly, with no shortcuts. Making the elixir slipshod won't get you anywhere. Three tricolor petals. One, two, three. Rooney! <laughs> Focus. Ten blades of fast-growing grass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Rooney! Huh? We're going to play skip ball. Want to join? I'm coming! Just give me a... Oh, still got to add. 100 drops of rainbow. Counting those will take forever. I'll just guess. Allow it to steep. Okay, I'm off. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hot soup right out of the oven. Thanks. Thank you. And what a great game. 
But we were only able to skip three balls. And we skipped 15, so we win. I love playing skip ball. It's so fun. And I love this soup, too. Ugh. It's amazing. <laughs> hey, you! Get away from our soup! Stop! Hey, don't do that! Stop it! Come here! I'm gonna get you! There! Gotcha! Hey, you! Stop right there! Oh! Oh! oh. You didn't see them? But they were so round! And they made a noise like slipshod! Right? Girls? Oh. We believe you, Rooney. Would a necklace make you feel any better? I made it by hand. The green one? Yeah. How beautiful. It's pretty. May I have one too? <gasps> Them again. There they are. Rooney, wait. <laughs> Find out what they are. Where are you going? Sometimes you can look up magic creatures by the sounds they make. So if these guys say slip and shard, oh! I found them. Slip shards appear when someone makes messy or slip shard magic. So somebody made a messy spell, and now we all have to suffer. Slip shards can only be seen by the one who made them, and only I can see them. So only you can fix this. <gasps> magic cleaning. Vaggy. <laughs> If you do things slipshod, things may turn out messy or salty like that soup. Or your necklace might break. Here, this time I actually followed the recipe. And here's the result. <laughs> Winter in Wondermont. Be on your best behavior. We won't be long as soon as we buy... What is it we're buying today? The usual. All sorts of magical things. Magical things we've run out of. Oscar gave us such interesting pendants. Whatever dress you wear, it matches perfectly. I've tried it with all my clothes. You should try it with something warmer. It's freezing in here. Helen, are you okay? I'm sad because today's a holiday. Holiday? What holiday makes people sad? I'm sad because I can't celebrate it. Today is Snowland Day. It's the best winter holiday. Snow falls from morning to night, and everyone goes ice skating. 
We share our cocoa and gingerbread, and at night we meet under the holiday tree and exchange gifts. But all of that happens in Snowland. What wonderment. You should have told us sooner, because then we could have put it on our holiday calendar. But how can we celebrate here? There's no snow. It's impossible. <laughs> The library has a spell that summons winter in summertime. Well, should we bring winter to Wondermont? Oh, it's so cold. Looks like there's some fine print. Winter magic is very fragile. When the ice ball appears, you must not... Must not what? I don't know. The ink is faded. Just must not. I think it says we must not leave Helen without her favorite holiday. Just because of fine print, the spell hasn't faded. That's all we need. Frosty air, fluffy snow, winter wonders, please be still. Give us the chance to see snowmen dance. Away with summer air, so winter is everywhere. It's working. It sure is. Even our bears have gone white. 127, 128. I just got started. What is happening? Snow? In summer? That's you! Hello there. Do you have any idea what's going on? Why is it so cold? By the way, my name is Ash! Hey! Wait up! Come with me to the school! Otherwise you'll freeze! <gasps> Look! So cool! Why haven't we summoned winter before? How beautiful! Look inside! There are tiny snowflakes! Uh, I figured out what we must not do! You could have warned us that your winter was starting this afternoon. Vasco is out in the forest today, and he's allergic to cold weather. We have to go find him quick and bring him straight back. I'll look to the left, and you... We'll be waiting for you here. Handle it on your own. It's his fault for going out alone. Aren't you worried about Vasco? Look at this. The girls wanted to summon winter for me, and they did it. But they did it wrong. And the magic cold went into their hearts. Now they don't feel anything. So we need to save them too? Yes, we do. Let's split up. You find Vasco, and I'll warm up the girls. Before their hearts freeze over. Vasco! Vasco! I hear you, Vasco! Just keep sneezing! I'm coming to get you! Look over here! Grandma taught me how to handle hot frost. To warm a frozen heart, be kind and funny, and make them smile. <laughs> and now, the showstopper! Ta-da! Come on, girls! Could you please laugh? I know who you are! You're the legendary sorcerer of the snowy north, and you brought this false winter! But I won't let you freeze all my friends! Vasco is cold and in danger, and I'm here doing silly magic tricks. He would never abandon us like this. He came to save me from the six-legged beast, and he saved Rooney on the flying disc. And once, he protected us from those rocks. I can't stop shivering, it's so cold. My tongue's gone numb. Are we in a freezer? Girls, you finally awakened. Quickly, we have to find the boys. Vasco! Vasco! Raven! That's you! Bless you, buddy. I see them over there! Guys, we're here to help you! Here's some hot cocoa and gingerbread. Vasco, why are the pendants glowing? We've never studied magic like this before. Oh, that? In El Dorado, we give these pendants to our friends, and they glow whenever we think of each other. And they warmed us up. In Snowland, we have a saying, friends keep you warm in the cold. <gasps> so, you gave Helen a surprise. Snow, hot cocoa, gingerbread. Good work. Do you know what else is missing from our Wondermont Snowland day? So oh, you went a bit overboard with the blizzard. Now let's see. How about we reduce the wind by a third? Ah, I think that's better. Look, the Sorcerer of the North is back. What? That's a snowman. He's very kind. 
kind, then let's give him a cup of cocoa too. <laughs> a whole week. Watch for a package with a present inside on Sunsy Day. With love, your brothers. <laughs> I wonder what it could be. A toy? No. Not cool enough. Oh, I can't wait. Same here. I did say I wanted an invisibility crown. Oh, but I won't find out what it is for a whole nother week. Hey, Ruini, don't be sad. That just means a whole other week of playing ball. Let's go. The weather is awful. Grunwald's students were trying to water the plants today. So they summoned rain. But they overdid it and created a storm instead. It'll be fixed in no time. But don't go outside until then. They're not... Uh, meow. They're their students. Don't come back! Catch it! Catch it! There must be something here to help me pass the time until it's Sunsy Day. I wish I could sleep through the week like Sleeping Beauty. This is gonna be a, a really long week. Wow, what in the world is this? To travel to the moment you want, say it loud and clear, and flip the hourglass over. Perfect, just what I need. I want next week to pass by in an instant. Now! you yet. Catch who? It's flying away. It's my package. Stop. It Catch really it. worked. He wanted to make it a surprise for you, but your brothers put a spell on it so that only you could open it. Stop! Don't grab it! It's getting away! Wow! Did we learn that in class? Yes, and I spent all last week practicing it. Catch it! It's getting away! You guys, it's going to escape through the chimney! Invisible lock, shut tight! How did you do that? It's not that hard. I was in the library last week and found just the right spell. Here comes my heroic move in action! Did you learn how to do all that in one week? Of course. There are seven days in a week. Come on, Rooney. Let's see what's inside. It took six of them to catch one little package. Big deal. If I had that week, then I could tame six packages by myself in five minutes. No, four. Maybe three. Hey, wait. I know. I have this. I want the last week back. All right, let's go right away, Hourglass. Yes, a storm, just like before. Stop, stop, stop at once! Uh, Professor, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to, I don't know, have any new spells for stopping things real fast? Um, stopping spells? Of course, how could I forget? Stop still! Ah, but what do you want to stop? Nothing particular, but imagine if someone throws a ball at a window, and I'm like, stop! Now then, let's begin. In order to freeze a moving object, you must visualize it. And then say, stop still! <gasps> oh, wow! Now it's your turn. Ready, go! Stop still! Oh. Uh... You know, Isaac Newton also needed an apple to fall on his head to learn something new. That wasn't bad at all for your first try. But you'll have to practice a good deal to make sure nobody gets injured. Stop still! Oh, I froze the wrong thing! Stop still! Oh, wrong again! Someone catch me! Stop still! Yes, it works! <laughs> Rooney, you can stop any runaway apple in the world now! Stop still! <laughs> Those insufferable girls again! They're always taunting me! Oh, you're waiting for a package, are you? I'll keep you waiting. <laughs> oh, my. The tiger is simply wonderful. I have 
something to show you, too. Vasco, toss me an apple. <gasps> <gasps> That's my package. That's mine. It's yours. <laughs> Come and take it if you can. You may stop apples, but can you stop me? <laughs> <laughs> Comes my heroic move in action. Ah! Here comes the unstoppable snowman. Oh! Oh! Stop still! Hooray! Good job, Rooney. It was great. I'm getting a package soon too. A boomerang ball. It comes back by itself if you miss the go. But I won't get it for another week. I hate waiting. Do you know if there's a spell for speeding up time? You know, instead of rushing time, enjoy it. You'd be surprised by how much you can learn and do in a week. Come on, I know what we can do. Let's try out my invisibility crown. <laughs> Come on. The Gingerbread Man. A glowing pudding. That's wonderful. Ice cream that never melts. All your achievements make me very happy. I look forward to sharing these with Mr. Immortal when he returns. And you, Daria? Fortune cookies that tell the future. Ooh, I call dibs on those. <laughs> on this day, two friends you know will leave for Sweetland. What friends? I don't know. You predicted it. And I've... well, well, I've... here. I wanted to make a sweet dreams gingerbread man. The recipe is quite simple, but I fell asleep while making it. And then it burned every time I tried. Now I don't know what to do. Dorma, try again. You chose a very complicated recipe. Oh, I've tried it a hundred times, but I've still failed. Now I've got a new idea. Hey, don't listen in. Right, Daddy? Look, a self-filling tablecloth! It makes whatever you ask. But shh, don't tell anybody. That goes for you, too. Dreamy munch, gingerbread crunch, a lovely treat for a sleep that's sweet. Yes! My homework is finally done. Now everyone's going to love my little gingerbread man. Everyone's going to love me. It's so nice. So golden brown. <gasps> I get to try it first. Pleased uh -huh. to meet you. I'm the gingerbread man. You're going to love me. Uh, I'm Rooney. And I think I need to sleep. Rooney? Sweet dreams. Rooney? Dorma, you must have put too much sleeping charm in the recipe. Let's be friends. You're going to love me. <sighs> We like you already. Oh, I'm dreaming about a unicorn. What are you doing? Wake them up again. <sighs> Didn't any of you sleep last night? Who can I make friends with now? Your gingerbread man is putting everyone to sleep. Where are you going? Things aren't looking very good for me. Dorma, how did you bake that gingerbread man? I was scared that I'd never manage to make anything. So I used the self-filling tablecloth, but I think that something must have gone wrong. Maybe there's something I missed in the recipe. Did you read the instructions? No. Hello? Is anyone here? The top side of the tablecloth makes exactly what you ask it for. Here, take a look. Let me see. And the other side gives food magical properties. <gasps> I must have put the tablecloth the wrong way around. That's why your gingerbread man puts everyone to sleep just by touching them. And why he is alive. Whatever should we do? It's all here. It says to stop the magic. You just need to make the same recipe yourself. I'll never manage it. I keep falling asleep. Of course you will, Dorma. I'll help you. We'll bake the best gingerbread man ever. Where is everyone? Let's be friends. Mm. 
The recipe says we need some good night ginger. And a little common clove. Got it! <gasps> it's so good that I found you. The water. It'll help hold him back for a bit. I can't get my feet wet. I'm gingerbread. Let's go. Where are you going? Don't leave me alone. We've only got until the water dries up. Butter, flour, the spell. Nice. Honey, ginger, and clove. And bake. Did you turn down the heat? Uh-huh, I did. It's definitely got to work this time. This isn't going so well. All my friends have run off. Oh, I hope he doesn't see us. What can we do? It's time to get the gingerbread out. I've got a plan. Rock the chandelier. There you are. How did you get so high up? Do you want me to help you get down? <gasps> oh, gingerbread man! Look! <sighs> it's lovely to meet you. Let's be friends. It's so nice that you didn't fall asleep. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I cheated. I didn't know that this would happen. You need to be extremely careful with magical objects. But you've baked wonderful sweet dreams, gingerbread men. Whatever shall we do with you? I've got an idea to help with that. Mr. Immortal! Girls, I've just returned from Sweetland, and they will be delighted to welcome the new residents. Your gingerbread men will have plenty of friends to play with there. On this day, two friends you know will leave for Sweetland. The fortune cookies were right! <laughs> Magical music. Ah, I've been waiting a hundred years for this. Tomorrow morning, the sun will pass from Capricorn into the Piper. And then it'll be my time to shine. The important thing is not to oversleep, but they don't suspect a thing. <laughs> Who cares about these music lessons? What's the point of studying this? It's not magic. You're only grumbling because you didn't learn your part. What is there even to learn? Bam! Bam! Would you please be quiet? What are you worried about? Surely you know it all by heart. If I don't get enough sleep, I won't play well. Oh, did I oversleep? Stupid alarm crow, why didn't you wake me? Good, I'm still on time. Mr. Immortal doesn't even suspect that his treasured Trembita is missing. The heist of the century. <laughs> A little surprise for you. Hmm. The fifth Wintober of the Dragon Cycle. The sun is in the house of the Piper. Hmm. Has it been a hundred years already? <laughs> Where is it? I distinctly remember putting it in here. Right next to the Magical Music Encyclopedia. <gasps> Now, let's begin. <laughs> huh? Uh, that wasn't me. Wait a minute. Isn't that... Hey. <laughs> you 
you must be wondering why we've all gathered here today. From now on, you lucky little things are going to be attending the Yaga School for Mischief. My school. Go get the others. Don't be afraid. They can't hurt you. What are you worried about? The Alpine Horn works like a charm. It enchanted every one of them. And here are our new textbooks. Trixometry, Spitefulry, Evonomics, Intrigology. And this, Mischiefmatics. We'll start out easy. Let's find something interesting. How to ruin things. what I need. Encasing, enchaining. Oh, there it is. Enchanting music. So that's how Papa Yaka bewitched them. Huh? Where is it? Where is the counter spell? <laughs> music that cures hiccups and tickling songs. That's not what I need. Knowing how to taunt and tease well is a true science. Here, watch me. Now it's your turn. Well, that was disappointing. You all get a D. By the way, where are the others? Once every hundred years, the horn's What's powers this? reach their summit, but whoever plays it can overcome it. Aha! What's going on? Why aren't you bewitched and frozen? I'll take care of that. <laughs> do you think you're doing? As <laughs> and that is the power of magical instruments. I assume that the music lesson has been a great success. Nice! What an enchanting melody. I just can't stop dancing. All right, then. Everyone gets an A. Oh, my alpine horn. Thank you for finding it. As soon as the sun sets, I'll play you a beautiful solo. I can't wait to demonstrate it. What? Music is truly powerful magic. But the drums were a bit late. We'll, we'll practice, practice some more. more and have the best concert. <laughs> The Magical Repair Shop. Hey, listen. I don't get it. Why are you so sensitive? You stepped on my foot five years ago and I didn't say a thing. Not a word. Not even a peep. I forgave you right away, remember? <coughs> Fire, water, earth, and air. And then I need... Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Easy as pie. And I learned how to paint. Water and fire. <clears throat> Can someone explain why we're doing this? They dragged in junk from the basement and it's all right, now fix it. Are we training to open a repair shop? I like it. Just a little more and we'll have a wonderful pot. Mm-hmm. Congrats on your wonderful pot. You're just angry because you can't fix anything yourself. Who, me? I just don't want to waste my time on this. And the professor said this was an optional assignment. So do it if you want, or don't. Either way, I'm out of here. Playing outside in the fresh air, that's what I recommend. You can join me if you want to. <laughs> Got it. Guess nobody else is coming. Well, fine. All right, enough already. Uh, oh. Truce? I owe you an... an, uh... Oh, what if I kick and use a spell at the same time? Why didn't I think of this before? Now, if only I can remember the spell. Uh, fly high like an arrow. Something 
Hmm. Up to the sky, maybe? Oh! You're making this so difficult! Maybe you'll grace the sky. Okay, kapow! Wow, we! <sighs> it's all because you took offense. You could be at home, your chimney would still be in place, and I was about to say, well, I almost said it, but don't rush me. I nearly apologized. Ah, what's the matter? We'll fix your chimney. <laughs> After all, I'm the strongest magic user of all. Oh. oh! That's not the spell. Wait a minute. Hold on. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Oh! <laughs> Looks like I set the wrong process in motion. How do I stop it? I've got to stop it now. My dear sweetheart, don't get any smaller. Wait just a moment. I'll be back. What happened to it? <laughs> you could almost send it to kindergarten. Did I do that? The ball hit the chimney and there must have been something important in there. Oh no, what did I do? My magic can be a bit, well, it's hard to explain. Uh, how do I put it? Um, Destructive, perhaps? Yes, and now I'm trying to be, you see, um, hmm. Well, Constructive, it seems. Yes, that's it. I can't do it. Please help me. Help your old friend. When exactly were we ever friends? Well, 200 years ago. Don't you remember? I was a cute little blonde girl. Huh? Hmm. Please, Mr. Immortal, you must hurry. It's going to disappear. I won't play any dirty tricks, I promise. For a week. No, a month. A month. Two months. Hmm? <sighs> Rooney? What's the matter? I'm afraid that I really messed up and recited a spell wrong and, well, I knocked the chimney off Baba Yaga's hut and then it started to shrink. You did? Mm-hmm. What does the chimney have to do with it? Maybe there was something important inside it. What do you mean? But girls, I feel sorry for it. It's going to be so tiny soon. What can we do? It's simple. We were just studying all kinds of repairs today. Of course, my book. Yes, here it is. Ah, look. Yes, yes, that's the spell. Can you help me, girls? Of course, let's go. <laughs> wow, it's tiny. Hello, don't be alarmed. Come on, girls. <laughs> Little to the left, right there. Be careful. All right, Rooney, begin now. Mm -hmm. Fire, water, earth and air. Each has magic everywhere. Hooray! Well done, Rooney. Shall we give it a try? <laughs> Come on now, grow! <gasps> uh, uh, it's all my fault. Please forgive me. I'm the one who broke your chimney. We tried to fix it, but... Mm, actually, it, uh, it broke all by itself. <laughs> what do you mean? You're making this difficult. Ah! Well, are you satisfied? Huh? Oh. Oh. Ah! That's what happened. Well done, girls. I was certain you were going to fix the chimney either way. Well, yes, and we just had extra practice today on, well, on how we can repair anything, but... Yes, right, exactly what I mean. Yes, but it didn't help. The hut is still small. That is for a completely different reason. You did it. Thank you. Time to go. Hut, let's head home. Don't forget your promise. I had my fingers crossed. Ha ha ha! Oh! Mm. Incorrigible. Squirreled away. 28, 29, 30. Time's up. Ready or not, here I come, girls. All right, then. Aha! <laughs> Me first! Tag! I got you! So what if you did? Uh. You never would have found me. It's only because I sneezed. <gasps> Tag! Go 
got you, Lisa. <laughs> Have you tried over there yet, Rooney? Tag! Got you, Doria. <laughs> Oh, it's a squirrel! It's so cute! Oh, did you think I'd take your pine cone? <laughs> I don't eat them. I'd rather have candy, like this. It's all right. There's nothing to be scared of. Hide-and-seek. Cut it out, Rooney. I'm safe. I win, girls. Dorma, you really are something. We were so worried. We almost called the immortal. Where did you go? <laughs> I cannot share my secret, all right? But you really vanished. Very well, then. I'll show you. Come on. Here we are. This is where you hid? It's pretty open. What is this? <gasps> Dorma! Dorma? <laughs> Not quite, dearie. Doria, activate! I've got it. All right, stop. Oh, oh. What's wrong with me? I've turned to stone and I'm frozen now. Nice one, Doria. Nice, Doria. Not quite. <gasps> Fold you. <laughs> Your spells won't work this time. I've got you now! <laughs> There's no escaping from Baba Yaga! <gasps> if only I had a protective amulet! So what? A house on chicken legs! Now what do I do? Wasn't there a spell about untying knots? How did that go? Was it untie? Unwind? <sighs> yes, that's it! Twirls and binds, now unwind! Aha! <laughs> Please, Hut! <laughs> Let me go! It's not that important for you, is it? <laughs> to live with me. I've decided to make a school. There are so many things I can... Hey, are you listening? <laughs> Cut that out. If you behave like good little princesses, I'll let you out of the balloon. On holidays. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. Smells like a human. Now, let's see. Look who it is. <laughs> You escaped. What a useless hut. I can't trust it to do anything. Be gone, old crone. Leave me alone. What? <laughs> That's not a spell. No spell <sighs> ends with leave me alone. How ridiculous. All those childish rhymes are useless. Oh. Hey, you. Stop. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Come back, you thief. Oh. <laughs> Broom, come here! Oh, Broomy, where are you? Thank you. You helped us out of a tricky situation. Uh, twirls and binds, now unwind. Girls! Oh, good work! Oh, but it wasn't me. This little 
one is who you should thank. <gasps> a swell! Oh, yeah. oh, that's yeah. cute! <laughs> hey! Where are you going? What about me? Please, get me down from here. I won't do it again. <laughs> 